for we shall be like trees that are firmly planted by the wizard of water. We are delivered from the evils of this present. We are delivered from the evils of this present world. For it is the will of God concerning us. God is on our side. God is in us now. Who can be against us? He has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, and we are partakers of His divine nature. I am a believer, and these signs do follow me. In His name, I cast out demons. I speak with new tongues. I lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So that is the word of God. That is our confession of faith today, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. That is what God has promised his people, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. My iPad went dead, but I had to continue to speak the word of the Lord, right? Because... The words that he speaks, they are spirit and they are life. And so, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And so, if you're discouraged, if you're feeling despondent, that's not the will of God for your life. We are to encourage each other. Even when we don't feel encouraged, we are to speak the word of the Lord because we know that it will renew us. He will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on, on him. So that is the word of God today. Like when we get up, we have to understand that if God be for us, who can be against us? We should dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Let's read Psalm 92 real quick. It is good to praise the Lord and make music for your name, O Most High, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. To the music of the ten strings lyre and the melody of the harp. For you have you for you make me glad by your deeds, Lord. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. How great are your works, Lord, how profound your thoughts. Senseless people do not know, fools do not understand that though the wicked spring up like grass and all evildoers flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are forever exalted, for surely your enemies, Lord, surely your enemies will perish. All evildoers will be scattered. You have exalted my horn like that of a wild ox. Fine oils have been poured on me. My eyes have seen the defeat of my adversaries. My ears have heard the rout of my wicked foes. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree, and they will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. So, though we know that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, God has promised us a long life. He's promised us to be flourishing in old age. The promises of God we have to stand on. Because the enemy thinks he can scare us. You know, and I know this is the, the Holy Spirit. But he whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And God wants to free his, his people. And the enemy tries to scare us. How he steals, <clears throat> how he tries to steal the will of God for our life is looking at so many negative things that have happened around us. Looking at things that have happened to people, whether it's sickness and disease, whether it's just different types of loss and different things like that. The enemy tries to use that to infiltrate our faith. And I'm going to be honest and transparent and say that is what I've been going through. And God says, hey, hold on. You know, I am who I am. Don't allow the things and the, the stuff that the enemy um, uses in this world to distract you or make you worried or make you concerned and steal the day from you. God has given us his promises. He's given us his promises. And we are to stand on that. And we are to trust him for each and every day of our life. You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm saying all, all that to say, he, he, whom the sun sets, set, he whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And the Lord promised that he would give us the desires of our heart. 
He knows um, the desires of our heart. Matter of fact, he's placed them there. Um, and we're not to allow the enemy to steal what God has sent his son to die for us to have. And that is life and life more abundantly. But he's also called us to be mouthpieces for him. So um, I just want to share that with you all. I pray that you all have a blessed day and continue to study to show yourself approved. And we are to work on our own salvation with fear and trembling. In Jesus' precious name, have a blessed day.